today we are in Versailles, which is a home to a famous palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And uh, today is a special day to visit because it's the first day uh, when the palace is open after the lockdown. And uh, there is still relatively few people around, uh, so there is no uh, large crowds. And we are looking forward to enjoy its uh, palaces, gardens and fountains uh, without the crowds. <laughs> Versailles is all about water, there's, there's a lot of fountains and uh, lakes but uh, did you know that uh, on the place where I'm standing right now there was a big uh, swamp which needed to be drained for uh, all of this uh, could have been uh, built The main Versailles Palace was a palace to impress, then uh, Grand Trianon was a place where Louis XIV felt uh, more comfortable and uh, it's a place which he used to escape uh, the crowds.
to understand Versailles, I think it's uh, helpful to understand the man who was basically behind its creation. And uh, now I'm talking about Louis XIV, who was uh, the most uh, powerful uh, king of uh, France. Uh, he uh, ruled country for the longest period of time. And uh, it's uh, important to keep in mind that uh, he grew up in Paris. He did not like it very much. He felt uh, stifled in Paris and in Louvre. And uh, he wanted to make his mark on the history by creating something uh, of a very grand nature. So what he did, uh, he decided to move away from France to uh, Versailles, where there was already a hunting lodge, uh, which was purchased by his father. And uh, what he did, he hired the, uh, the best architects, the best uh, garden uh, designers, and he created this uh, very famous palace and uh, very famous gardens and uh, what he really wanted to achieve by this he wanted to build a brand uh, so he actually allowed people to visit the gardens and walk around the only condition for people to visit the garden was to uh, dress appropriately they could do it by uh, dressing themselves or they could actually rent the dress when they came here. So Versailles was uh, all about the ceremony, about making impression, about making sure that people uh, would uh, want to come back and that they would spread the word about how powerful the monarchy was.